at the bar, leave me at the bar. Welcome to Life on Tap, episode 71, a multimedia experience now from the heart of NYC. Hope everyone out there is doing well. First of all, welcome to all you new subscribers, and a great big thank you to all you existing. Great to have you guys all aboard. Um, been a little crazy, you know, it's now the summertime, as you can see. Hair is nice and short, trying to keep cool as best as I can. Um, and uh, so far, summer internships in full swing. Loving it so far. Doing, doing well. My summer classes. Uh, just just started, so I got one, uh, got one full week down right now. So um, hopefully I can catch up with some of you guys out there in the social networking universe out there when I when possible. As uh, there's probably a lot of a lot of you that's going on over your end, I probably want to hear all about it as well, uh, especially what beer you might be drinking. Um, so I wanted to basically speaking of beer, I wanted to follow in kind of the mindset I had been through before. Uh, before you know it, we had the, the Bear Republic with the Racer 5, and so I want to continue onward along in that Bear Republic trend now with their Red Rocket Ale. They describe this as a, uh, as a bastardized Scottish-style Red Ale, uh, and so it's unfiltered, bottle-conditioned, and let's give this thing a shot here. All right. Well, that is a deep color. Wow. So I don't know if you could see this. I mean, it's basically like almost mahogany. Um, but you can, but with, on, with the light, basically, you see a little bit more of a copper tinge to it. Um, but it's it's pretty it's pretty wild. Um, and the the head is the head is not that evident, basically. But you do see a nice little bit of lacing on the side, which basically shows that some of the yeasties were still at work while they were in the bottle, and which is which is which is nice. So. Um, Let's give this thing a shot here. Wow, that is. It's just, this the, the malt flavor just overflowing off this, and you can kind of get a hint a hint of like hops on the back there, but it it's like it's like it's like you ever had like um like it's like it's like a combination of smelling like caramel mixed with like salt water taffy. It's pretty wild. Let's give this thing a shot. Wow. Okay. So here, so totally unlike the nose, which it comes up malty and sweet, the flavor is well balanced and with a nice hop jab at you. I mean, it, you it hit, definitely hits you on the back palate. Um, this thing weighs in at um, 67 IBUs, so it's not bashful. It's not. It's not like you know overly the top, but it ain't bashful with it with the with the with the bittering. In there, weighs in at 6.8% alcohol for those of you who keep in score at home, and it's you do get the maltiness up front, and then the hops start hitting you in the mid palate through the back palate, and it's it's pretty wide. I mean, it, it's it's I mean I don't it's not as say sessionable uh, for as say the Racer Five might be, but definitely it's a the complexity of the malt character from the from the nose through the taste and now. The mixturing, with the balance with the hops and the finish, would definitely make it um, incredibly tasty. I mean, for those of you who are more of a hop, more of a hop head, you know, you want something that's going to have a little bit more, a little bit less of the kind of the overly IPA elements, the citrus elements, the you know, the 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 grass elements. Basically, you do get a little bit of hop character in here, so you don't stray too much away to the, to the sweet sweet stuff or the malt malt stuff. Um, but you, it's it's a really tasty beer. Um, uh, and also, this one this did did um, take a silver at the GABF a little while ago in the um, strong ale category, I believe. So, um, and rightfully so. I mean, like I said, it's really what it is is that it has a very very delicate balance between that malt and the hot flavoring. But overall, once again, a uh, a great uh, great great effort. Uh, as always, from Bear Republic, I really, really, really do enjoy their beers. Um, in any case, if you want to reach us out there on the web, you can check us out at www.lifeontap.net. You can email us at lifeontap at lifeontap.net. You can check me out there on the Twitterverse and the Skypeverse. I am NewType2001. And on Facebook, I am facebook.com slash 
Utah 2001 doesn't take a uh, it's pr pretty kind of obvious right there so I hope everyone summer is doing it well out there hopefully um, we you get a chance to get out there taste some beers um, have some nice summer beers of course and some more lighter beers uh, uh, at your barbecues and whatnot this summer and remember lift the tap drink up till it's dry